I am going to cover my eyebrows. Hello, I don't know if this video is gonna have an intro or not. And thus commenced the glue problems for like the next five minutes. I don't know what was going on with this glue. Look how sticky it was. This is a washable glue stick per usual, but for some reason it was just super gummy. Not really that big of a deal because I just had to work with it for whatever reason. I don't know what happened to my glue stick. Using concealer, wait. Way too much concealer. I then applied it to my eyebrows and covered up my, uh, both of my eyebrows actually, because I had enough to span across my entire face. I then powdered my brows to set them and decided, you know what, I'm not using foundation today, I'm just gonna use concealer over my whole face underneath my body paint. I came to the realization I have never shown you guys how to mix your paints together. I always just say, mix your paints together to get this color. And you ask me, how do I mix the paints together to get this color? And I say, I'll make a video on it in the future. It's the future, it's been the future. My apologies. So let's say you want to mix together the Made You Look body paint in the color Yeti and also the Made You Look body paint in the color Cherry. I wet both cakes, swish my brush around in them. I don't do it lightly. And then I personally just mix them on my table, but my table is very much an art table. It is stained with paint. So I wouldn't recommend doing it directly on a table. I would do it on a more sanitary surface as well as the fact they do sell makeup palettes. This is more so just to demonstrate that they can mix together like that. And you also don't have to worry about if you mix the colors on top of the other cakes because you just you just wipe it off. Like it's not a big deal. I think that people look at these body paints and they're like, oh my god, I don't want to mix up the colors because you're thinking of it more like a marker. Like if you mix a marker on paper with another color, your marker's ruined. These body paints are not like that. You can mix them together as long as you don't mix the entire cake together, which would actually be very difficult to do because they are hard until you spray the top with water and then the top activates just like a watercolor. Point is, don't be afraid to mix your colors together because you will be able to make all of the colors of the rainbow if you have the Made You Look primary pack and you'll be able to make everything lighter and everything darker in just one collective pack. Of course, other colors are available in case you don't. <laughs> Of course other colors are available if you don't feel like mixing your colors together, but if you do get primary packs, if you're just starting out or that's all you want to purchase right now, you'll be able to make the colors just by mixing everything. It'll just take more time. But honestly, a lot of times I mix my colors together anyways, so. Apply pink body paint on your entire face and body and also my camera's very overexposed here, so hold on. Another way that you can mix your body paints is on your skin. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you have been doing this for a while. It's a very easy way way to make your body paint streaky. I personally like to do all of my characters with a lighter face, so I just thought I would demonstrate taking a pink color and then just adding Yeti over that pink color to make my face lighter. Again though, this might be frustrating for you if you're just starting out because it's very easy to get it streaky if you mix on your body. This is with any brand water activated body paints. Watch, look how long it takes me to realize I don't have a black eyeliner pen in my hand. And I'm like, I'm convinced too. I'm like, this is gonna draw black. I know it is. Why isn't it coming out? I'll give it a few more strokes. No, it was because it was the wrong color. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. I wanted my eyebrows to have a very high, skinny, monstrous type look to them, but not like menacing even though we're a serial killer, but still. For my eyes, I did lay down primer. I'm then using white eyeshadow in the center and the Naked Cherry palette uh, around the rest of my eyes. A Little bit of Lexorcist. I'm also lining only the outer corners of my eyes with my eyeliner. Apply a um, extra stabby eyeliner. You know what, I wasn't intending for that long of a stab, but that's okay. Just like that, you know. Serial killer. Mess with me. To highlight my face, I'm just using white eyeshadow, which usually blends pretty perfect. I'm also using white body paints on my eyelids and right above my eyes and below. I love the way this looks and I have to really try very hard not to get obsessed with the way this looks and do it over and over and over again in multiple looks. Of course the character that we're referencing doesn't technically have stitches but I wanted it to be more of an interpretation, okay, of the pink Franken, if you will. Going back to the Naked Cherry palette, I'm then outlining everything in the lightest shade there is, going to a darker pink and then to an even darker pink. The reason I'm putting down the lighter color first is just to help blend the shading around the stitches.
To shade underneath the stitches, I am going to be using the darkest color in the palette, which is actually brown, but when you mix it all together, it doesn't look brown. It just looks like a very dark red. I'm shading underneath all of where my stitches are going to go, as well as the outer corners stemming from my face. Using the Made You Look body paint in the color ink, I'm then applying where all of my stitch holes are going to go. To shade underneath my stitches before I put them on, I am using gray eyeshadow. I do not know if I enjoy this one in particular, so if it just disappears later in the video, that's why. Using the Made You Look body paint in the color Yeti, I'm then applying all of my stitches. Now I personally love X stitches. I try not to apply too many, but I do love them very much. I'm also highlighting the top of where the openings are. This is gonna change later anyways, because I ended up not liking how thick I made this, so just that's what that part of the video is. I then applied black eyeliner to my lips. Of course, you could use black lipstick, but I wanted to start to see a balance in my face before I made any, you know, crazy decisions. This one's gotta go. I don't like it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna cover it up using body paint, but I'm just gonna kind of like... You might be able to see it a little bit, but we'll see how we do here. I first applied a very, very light mixture of pink to kind of try to neutralize it a little bit, then remove the body paint and try to remix the same color again. I then also really extra decided I did not like how thick I made the opening for the stitches, so I used the exact same color and just made more skin flaps. Lovely. But oh my god, I, as soon as I did it, I'm like, oh, so much better, so much better. Be be because before, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, what is this, They're just like rivers on my face? No, it's supposed to be like closed kind of, sort of healing, sort of open stitches, not canals. Better. Much better. Because I did this, I went ahead and re-highlighted, which is what I was talking about earlier, the new skin there. Using the Made You Look body paint in the color Yeti. Also went in and added some shading and kind of re-detailed just the ends of the stitches, just because I went over it in body paints. I decided to add a little bit of shading around some of the stitches to create a deeper hole that the stitch was going into, and also highlighted that section. This isn't really necessary. I became very focused on these stitches. For my body, I added an extra layer of Yeti on top of the pink I already had down and began to highlight my collarbone, the little tendons in my neck, which I need to learn what everything is called because I am in the middle of my certified personal trainer's lessons and I need to know basically every part of the human body. So pretty soon it won't be, yeah, you can just shade and you can just highlight this thing, pretty soon I'm gonna know everything. I'm going to know everything. I'm going to know it all. <laughs> I then went ahead and shaded everything once again, just going back to the Naked Cherry palette. I then very quickly applied the shape of my stitches that I wanted on my chest. And really, this entire thing is just the exact same process, so I'm just gonna let you guys jam right now. I'm also working on my very first Instagram tutorial that's going to be posted this week. I'm very nervous, so if you follow me on Instagram, please make sure you show it all the love because I'm very excited to even create an Instagram tutorial. Just a random bit of information, and we're almost at a million!